I see fields of green sprouting all around me. The farms are planted and the crops are beginning to show. Dawn till dusk my work has not ended, yet I cannot work at night. I am shattered each evening and fall into a deep, exhausted sleep. I wake hungry each morning as the sun rises, and I have strange dreams about a world in which the famine calls home. It would be like a hell, deep underground where the sunlight cannot be seen, where crops would refuse to grow, moist with a bitter smell and filled with all manner of vile demons. I will visit there soon. Now then, welcome back to another episode of A Druid's Tale. Today I'm doing a bit of miscraft. We have a bile demon to fight, the Horseman of Famine, and we need a decent world to be able to fight him in. Uh, for the storyline, at least, I could summon him up using blood magic and beat him somewhere around my base if I really wanted to, and I'm sure you've seen that before if you've seen blood magic at all. Uh, but for the story, for a druid's tale, I would like to summon him up in what could only be described as a suitable homeworld or home dimension for him. So today we're going to mess around with Miscraft and try and make a suitable dimension for the Bile Demon. First up, I've cleared all my books out of here. The ones that I'm using, or the ones that I like, are down here. In my actual portal room, as it were. So, uh, places that I use and places that I like, in there. Now, I've done a lot of testing previously. And this is through the previous part of the season. And I can't remember exactly where these look like, or where they go, should I say. Apart from two. Two is fairly boring, really, but it was useful for getting materials such as uh, the crystals and stuff. And I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a desert world and a hostile wasteland. So I thought we'd just quickly revisit the hostile wasteland and see exactly what's hostile about it. See if it is what we need or whether we can recreate by using some of the stuff the the points in it some of the pages within it and ah now i remember this place okay but now i can fly this is the place that earlier on in the season i got destroyed over and over again trying to defeat the mobs because we had all sorts of crazy stuff going on it's a checkerboard design it's yeah it, it's okay for coming and getting a lot of XP. And that's about all there is in this world. There's some obsidian. And lots and lots of XP farming. Uh, and lots of stone as well, apparently. So, yeah, that's not really what I was after. This one, Overworld Book. Well, why not, indeed? I must have dropped that previously when I was uh, dying here previously. Uh, let's throw that into there and just get rid of it. All right, so, yeah, this one... Not a great place, so I'm not bothered about it. Right, so... Hostile Wasteland. Waste of time. No good for me. I don't know what half of these do, really. So, I'm just going to have to... To give them up, I guess. Give them up and just go... Right, let's back to the basics. Back to the drawing board. Now, one thing going around all of those uh, different worlds has done for me is got me a lot of paper... A lot of paper. A lot of these rubbish stuff. I mean, some of them. I'll, I'll go through these properly with you in a minute, but some of them. Um, alterations. Yeah, look at this. I, I got like 18 boundless, boundless skies and 14 fog colours and 13 natural sky colours and natural cloud covers and all kinds of crazy things, right? All of these different things that I've got. Um, in fact, I should probably take those out ah yes okay let's take those out um i've kind of got a, a way of organizing myself right uh, natural gra grass color we'll have that as well natural foliage yeah we'll have that as well natural fog yeah anything that's like natural normal is just like the vanilla world as it were 
Uh, I'm going to need to create a world that is using all of those different things because every single one that you're missing, uh, it will add randomly for you. And so we get bad results. So I need to get the standard normal world set up first and then change out the pages that I want to change for the bile de demon dimension, right? So we could just go straight through, but I want to see if we can make a standard world first, just to show you a standard world. So we have a linking panel, followed by it's a standard world terrain generator, followed by the biome controller, it's native biome distribution, which means that I have to provide zero biomes because it's just going to do normal biome distributions which is a standard world, normal biomes, native biome distribution. And then we move on, we've got to f f do the weather. I'm just going to do normal weather. Then we've got to do lighting. I'm going to do normal lighting. Then we're going to do the sun. I'm going to do normal sun. The moon, normal moon. The stars, normal stars. Then the populators, I'm going to populate it with villages because I figure if I'm going to make a standard world, I may as well have the villages to go and do the story over there and feed the villages and stuff and then we've got the terrain alterations and I've put in uh, an extra clear modifiers to get rid of stuff um, but really in the populators I should be throwing mine uh, mine shafts and dungeons and strongholds and all that kind of stuff to make a, a truly standard world um, but I don't know if I need to right now okay so I've got this uh, little collation portfolio which keeps the in the same order you want to use them and then we're going to come over to the binder and if i throw this into the binder by clicking it in it will keep it in that order standard world native biomes normal weather normal blah 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 and the leather is already in there to bind it all together so we'll try this as a standard world okay so we'll take that and now that's standard world and we'll see about that then. So I've got a linking book and a stand ready to come back to. Da 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 da. Let's do it. Now, Miss Craft bakes a cake every time you start a new dimension. So we have to just kind of float in the ether. And if it's taking too long, you can actually get to minuses in the Y coordinates. And it feels like you're about to die. You've just been teleported into a dramatic, straight, weird world. Um, but obviously, I've been missing some modifiers here. Because we have spawned in a very strange world indeed. This is hardly a standard world, is it? Uh, according to my mini-map, this is a savannah. Made of endstone. It has zebras. It really likes endstone for some reason and lots of crystals again. So another useful world. Uh, it'll have a lot of cool nodes in it. It'll have all the crystals that I'll ever need and it's got a good animal base. But the sun seems to be setting normally. And what do we got over here? Probably some kind of sewage. Sewagey. Sewage. Hmm. See... This could actually work for the bile demon. If only there were some other things like sewage being there is pretty cool. Being completely barren of any kind of vegetation. So no food anywhere. The only problem we got is loads and loads of... Uh, well, loads and loads of... I was just checking the node out. Nice. Uh, yeah, loads and loads of animals. So obviously food for carna carnivores is not a problem because there's loads and loads of animals anywhere. There's a pretty little pony. Hey, little pony. It's a little wild horse. Uh, yeah, but I don't see much else around. Other than node creation and stuff. Mm. Uh, yeah, well, anyway. Let's leave this one and go and create another one see what we get. Do we get normal stars? Let's just see. So, I obviously missed a few modifiers. So... That's why it's sort of filled in with random stuff. Ow. Ow. Let's get in underneath something. Let's get underneath the platform. Quick, 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 quick. Get underneath the platform. Okay. I'm underneath the platform. 
So what's what's the effect I'm getting? I'm getting some kind of poison effect, aren't I? Now, you can get worlds where if you're in the under the sky, you get poisoned. And I'm getting hunger and poison. Uh, hunger and poison at the same time in a world. There's also two suns up there, isn't there? I put normal sun, no modifiers. Oh, man. Okay, well, I'm down here. It looks like I'm in a, a fairly standard world. Let's have a look at a map. Yeah, there's a bit of Mount Extreme Hills over there. I'm in a jungle over here. So I'm kind of in a good place, I guess. I would need a regen on constantly, though, to be here. Um, and, yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm getting the hungers and all that kind of stuff. So a little fly around. I'm probably not going to keep this world because it's a big, bad jungle world. Okay, so uh, the normal world thing didn't quite work out as planned. But let's have a look at making a completely non-standard. And that way we're adding in all of the different variables that it wants, hopefully, in theory, so that we can uh, do more good with the world, as it were. So let's scrap the normal world a minute. Right, terrain modifiers. I don't have any terrain modifiers. And terrain gen generation. A void world would kind of be cool. Because of the the famine, the starving, there's a void in your stomach, it's consuming everything that's any value. But at the same point, a void world um, is very useful, very practical and all that kind of stuff. But a void world is also devoid of anything interesting. And I wanted to kind of make it an interesting world. Now, a cave world, that would be quite cool, wouldn't it? A cave world... Maybe an amplified world. Mm, I, I've got more cave worlds. So <laughs> let's go for a cave world. I don't have any terrain modifiers. But let's have a look down in my dump chest. And see what we've got down here. So we could have biomass. Like it gets, it's consuming all the biomass. Into the cave world. And just. Ugh. Yeah that would be a bit horrible. Bio demon. Let's try the biogas. Uh, biomass. Biomass cave world. Okay, so it's a biomass cave world. And um, I don't know what else I could have really in here at the minute. Deep lakes. Mm. Let's, let's try deep lakes of biomass. Biomass deep lakes in a cave world. Let's see if that works, right? <laughs> that could be horrible. And instability, I can deal with instability. I don't mind instability. I want a bit of instability. I want to be fighting under difficult conditions. So there's our terrain generation. It's going to be biomass in deep lakes in a cave world. Uh, the biome types and biome controllers. Well, first of all, we need to pick a biome controller. Should we just have a single biome type? Uh, small biome, single biome distribution. That means we only need to put one biome before it. And that just makes it simpler. So, oh man, I've got so many different biomes because we've had so many, many different types. Tainted land? Make it a tainted world? I kind of wanted to keep that for something else. But tainted does work. So a tainted single biome... So it's going to be a biomass deep lakes in a cave world that is tainted. Uh, and there's only the tainted caves around. Okay, so then the weather. We want eternal weather. We'll probably just go with the normal weather. Normal weather, normal weather, normal weather. Because I've got loads of those pages. And also lighting wise, I think we just need standard lighting. Uh, I don't have many more pages. So have I got anything else lighting wise? I've got bright lighting. Let's try bright lighting. So if we're doing a cave world, it, it might be nice to have bright, uh, bright looking for the YouTube so you can see better. Uh, as for the sun, the moon and the stars, uh, I was wondering whether we should put in all of these different uh, phases for the different celestials. Uh, we could have a dark moon, so no moon, dark stars, so no stars. And a dark sun, so no sun. So it'll just be devoid of the sun, stars, and everything. 
which means these modifiers may not be needed at all. I might not care about it, but I don't know if I need them. They've probably added stability if I don't use them, so let's not use them and <laughs> hope the instability is something we can still use. Uh, Populators-wise, then, we've then got caves, dungeons, huge trees, mine shafts, and stuff like that. If I put any of these in, I'm not sure if it's any good to me. Uh, let's throw dungeons in. Why not? And mine shafts in. Why not? And nether fortress. No. Spheres, strongholds, surface lakes. Uh, tendrils is a good one. Let's, let's have tendrils. I think default for tendrils is oak. So if we have a look at the different things that we could throw in here we could have some kind of weird tendrils meat block tendrils oh no 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 because it's supposed to be consuming everything and so we need something that's consumed seed oil seared stone spontaneous explosions no i don't want spontaneous explosions star fisher i've got in there as well as a length white color west direction I really don't know what I want to throw in there. No seas, mushroom soup. No, I definitely don't want those kind of things. Molten plastic, molten nickel, maroon. I need a, a block of something. Uh, grass block, glue blocks, gold ore blocks. Foliage color, flux goo blocks of tendrils. Flux goo tendrils in the world. Ugh, that's going to be horrible. And then as for my terrain alterations, we're going to have a boundless sky. Why not? Uh, we'll change the colours of things, or should we just have the normals? It's probably better just to have the normals and just see what happens, because I don't want to do too many different things. So we'll have a normal clouds, normal fog, normal foliage. It's all going to be the biome type. Uh, and cave worlds, tainted land cave worlds anyway, so doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, what was I on last? That was foliage, which was there, grass, sky, water, normal lighting, normal moon, normal stars, normal sun, normal weather, standard world. Okay, and then clear modifiers, I don't want. Okay, so, whoo, this is going to be epic. Oh, that's uh, biomass deep lakes in a cave world which is a tainted biome but there's only a tainted biome there's normal weather bright lighting a dark moon no stars no sun there's dungeons and mine shafts and there's flux glue goo blocks tendrilling around all over the place there's a boundless bound, bound, boundless sky thank you very much uh oh that's all moved around a little bit and put it there put that there boundless sky should be over there and flux glue should be there flux goo there we go mineshaft flux goo tendrils in a boundless sky which won't let me put it down there yeah it does this time and natural colors for everything we'll throw all those in there we go and that one as well sky color natural water color there we go Right, that's quite a big, big set of stuff. But hopefully you get the idea of what we're trying to achieve. And we'll throw it all in there. And we'll give this Bile Demon 1. And fingers crossed, because I ain't got much time left of this episode. Let's fingers crossed that this is quite an awesome Bile demon place. Um, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. I'm going to throw them into here. Uh, standard 2, standard 1, just so I remember where everything is. I'm going to put that one back on here as well. There we go. So that's the first one I'm going to try. I will try a few others as well. And I need to make sure I've got another miscraft book linked to here. Otherwise, I'm a fool. So I'll take that. Take one piece of leather. Make a book quickly, quickly, quickly now. An unlinked linking book. And boom, we come back here. All right, let's go for it. Let's see what it's like. Okay. We're definitely in the cave world. 
There's a thing. There's gooey things all over the place. And this, this world is taking a long time to load in. And it's getting a very framey world. Uh, we've got tendrils of oak wood, which is default for tendrils. Which is not what we asked for. We wanted tendrils of goo. Maybe it couldn't do flux goo as tendrils. So therefore it's done its default instead. Uh, and we're, we've got sandstone in this cave. Or is it a cave? I can't tell quite yet. Let me just let the chunks load in. Well, we did manage to get a few things right on this one. It's definitely a tainted land single biome. But the tainted land is made of sandstone. So that's kind of a thing we got wrong. So instead of it having deep lakes of goo and tendrils of goo, the materials didn't quite match with what it was trying to do. So it looks like it's blasted out some defaults and done some other bits and pieces. Um, it's just gone a bit dark. I think because it's a tainted land, one of those bad guys has turned up. One of those things. Ah, oh, my days. Okay, well, I'm getting attacked already. Let's go this way. Out of the way. It goes dark. Ah, there he is. There he is. I see you. I see you, sir. Now you fall into the water and drowned. Did he die? I don't know if he died or not. No, he's still there. He's floating up. You'll try it. You'll try it, sucker. There you go. Thank you. I love that. Oh, even though you withered me. Wow. Uh, yeah, so we've got a few issues with the setup. But I don't think it's too bad a deal. I don't think it's too bad. Because we've got... It's a tainted land, so we've got lots of taint growing in pools and stuff. So yeah, we've got tainted gooey bits going on in here. Uh, so that doesn't make it nice. That, but Wow, did that just like fling at me? That looked like it bounced all the way out. Bang! Okay. Uh, yeah, we've got the, the kind of, it's a cave, so therefore it reminds me of the nether, which it's supposed to, I believe. It's supposed to remind you of the nether, kind of. Uh, it's bright. It's not dark in this cave, is it? So we've got the bright lighting in the right place. Uh, there's mine shafts showing as well. I don't really know if I want mine shafts showing just like that, but still. Uh, tendrils, I just need to change the material type and we can have some decent tendrils. We've got a boundless sky. You can't see the fog anywhere. And we've got no sign of a sun, moon or stars anywhere either. Even though this is technically cave here, you can't see out, but it's a nice black background. Uh, so we've got some decent sort of decent suggestions. Um, maybe, yeah, speaking of suggestions, maybe down in the comments below, uh, leave me some suggestions of what you think we could do. And I'll keep playing with them and making some new areas. Oh, yeah, we're going to have tainted gooey stuff floating up as well from down there ah oh, yeah yeah there's going to be all sorts of nasty stuff like what block type should i use to make the world out of the cave world is made out of sandstone at the minute so i need to choose something that's not sandstone sandstone looks too nice and clean doesn't it so we need something biley uh, that's a block a solid block for us to use for this yeah but anyway i uh I'm going to have to get off. Thank you very, very much for watching another episode of A Druid's Tale. Plenty more miscraft um, done today. We do need to get this bile demon place sorted out, though. So leave those comments down below and let me get, get your ideas on what you think we could do in different areas. And I'll see what I can come up with and see what I can make. And then, well, if we get a place like this, it's not too hostile. We just kind of uh, make a summoning area just on one of the platforms, just around and about. And just summon the bile demon to have a fight. That can be very soon. So thank you very much for watching another episode of A Druid's Tale. I will see you in the next. Goodbye.